A fresh rumor has surfaced, suggesting that David Zaslav is exerting pressure on James Gunn and DC Studios to incorporate an extensive array of characters into Superman. Legacy. In response to questions about future hero plans and the inclusion of the recently revealed Watchmen and Justice League, Crisis on Infinite Earths films in the new DC universe, the director has clarified matters. One of the most intriguing aspects of James Gunn and Peter Safran's pitch for the new DC universe is its comprehensive interconnectedness, encompassing movies, TV shows, and video games. Gunn has already demonstrated his commitment to this concept by introducing familiar DC characters like Metamorpho and Guy Gardner in Superman. Legacy. This led many to speculate that Warner Bros. Discovery CEO David Zaslav influenced Gunn's decision to include these supporting Justice League figures as a means to attract investors. However, Gunn maintains that such motives were never part of his original plan. While David Zaslav's involvement is subject to scrutiny, it was recently revealed that animated adaptations of Watchmen and Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths are set to premiere in 2024. When asked if these films were integrated into the DC Universe envisioned by James Gunn and Peter Safran, Gunn's succinct response suggests that DC Studios operates largely independently from Warner Bros. Discovery, or at least from Zaslav. This development indicates that while not everything will be seamlessly united under a single banner, Gunn and Safran won't be compelled to incorporate elements that do not align with their creative vision, at least for the time being. Regarding the future of the DC Universe, James Gunn and Peter Safran have stated their intention to maintain locked scripts, provide some flexibility, and ensure a cohesive narrative across film, television, animation, and video game projects. They have also mentioned the possibility of reintroducing elements from previous DC eras, signifying that their eight-year plan does not constitute a complete reboot. Meanwhile, Blue Beetle and Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom are currently in different stages of post-production at Warner Bros. Discovery, with both DC Universe films scheduled for release in 2023. Whether characters from these movies will make appearances in the new DC Universe remains a mystery known only to Gunn and Safran. To stay informed about the latest developments in the DC Universe's future, keep an eye out for updates and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more exclusive content.